So in this video, we're going to talk about the difference between pyridine and pyrrole and why, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're aromatic. And I'm also going to use, use this video as a, as a little bit of a practice. Um, I have three other examples that I just, I just want you to show you guys because nitrogen, uh, nitrogenous compounds are always tricky and everything, you know, spectroscopy, all that good stuff. Uh, but why are these aromatic? Now, from the outside, you might look at this and say, okay, well, this is two, four, six, eight pi electrons. We know eight pi electrons does not correspond to an aromatic compo compound, right? It has to have two pi electrons. Then we add four to that. So that will give us six uh, pi electrons. And then we add four more to that, 10. And we could go ahead, go to 14, et cetera, et cetera. But why uh, is parole, why does it have six pi electrons? right and it comes down to the idea that whenever i have uh very stable compounds uh, uh nature likes stability nature likes stability right and in fact uh benzene is one of the more stable molecules right and, and so you know, you know benzene looks something like this right but in fact in organic chemistry uh, you usually see it drawn like this. Why? Well, in reality, benzene is very stable and it has, it's a cloud of electrons that are actually on the top circulated. So in reality, this is how the molecule looks. Now, because it's so stable, and I'm relating this to parole and pyridine, it, it does not need any more electrons into the pi system, right? In, in, into the ring. And it's the same idea with pyridine, okay? Because it's so stable inside of these six pi electrons, I cannot de delocalize these electrons uh, inside the ring anymore to give me eight pi electrons. And so therefore, these count as pi electrons, but these two lone pairs, they count towards hybridization. So I can't have both i can't have it both ways right I, I i can't have it both ways uh i can't have it both ways so uh it's either for these compounds um if we talk about localizing the electrons in the middle these lone pairs have to come towards hybridization and look it's conjugated it's flat all our atoms are sp2 including and the reason why this nitrogen is sp2 is because of these two lone pairs which count as one electron group the double bond one and the single bond here one which gives us three electron groups uh so that corresponds to an sp2 hybridized um atom okay so the idea is that i cannot fling these electrons into the ring because it's it's it's, it's already stable it's aromatic okay it doesn't want any more electrons now parole is a little bit different okay this also has six pi electrons all right but okay well i could localize this into the ring why not this well this is not aromatic right well not the compound the compound itself is not aromatic but looking at it from this perspective without without delocalization i have four pi electrons here nature likes low stability so whenever i could get my molecule to be very stable in, in the giving me the lowest energy possible i'm going to do it it's the same thing when we talk about forming rings if i could form when we're doing reactions if i could form a five six or seven membered ring i'm going to do it because it's less it's it's more stable nature likes low stability so i could look delocalize these electrons into ring to give me six pi electrons and now my uh, my nitrogen is now sp2 hybridized because looking at it from this perspective uh, We have one two three bonds here and then we have this lone pair here So we could say okay, well, that's sp3 and then you might think oh well man I'm crazy. You might think in this guy on YouTube is crazy. That's sp3. How's that sp2? Well, you know what? Maybe I'm a little bit crazy, but the idea is well, why is that? You know, you might be thinking I'm crazy, but again nature likes low stability so if i could somehow get this into ring to be aromatic i'm going to do it now notice that whenever i delocalize these electrons into the ring i now have an s uh, an sp2 hybridized nitrogen all right here because it's already aromatic inside a ring i cannot delocalize these electrons right so they so, so these electrons are not pi electrons however 
they do count towards hybridization, all right? So, and, and, and look how it makes sense. I could not have delocalized these electrons into ring, first of all, because it's too stable. And then say, for example, hypothetically, if I did, well, my nitrogen will now uh, become, uh, it won't be sp2 hybridized anymore, okay? When I have two electrons, it will be linear, okay? So that makes no sense, okay? Because again, whenever we could form the most stable molecule, we're going to do it. So that's the difference between why you could, uh, uh, you know, localize the electrons into parole and, and not parity. Now, I, I just want to take this video to do about uh, looking at these three examples here, and it, it's bouncing off the same idea here. Right, so is this aromatic, non-aromatic, or anti-aromatic? Well, again, you might be looking at it from the outside and say, okay, well, that has uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 pi electrons. Well, that's wrong. This has 6 pi electrons. Again, my ring is stable. It does not need any more pi electrons. So this is aromatic. It's conjugated. It has six pi electrons. Now, look at these electrons outside. They count towards hybridization, okay? They count towards hybridization. So I have uh, one, two, three electron groups, that's sp2. One, two, three electron groups, that's sp2. So here's the point. You cannot count uh, the lone pairs towards hybridization and pi electrons at the same time. It doesn't work. It's, it's either or, okay? It's either or. Now, what about this one? Well, this has four pi electrons. All right, uh, and this is not even aromatic at all, all right? This is sp3, so this is sp3 hybridized, so, so, so that's not even aromatic, all right? So this is not aromatic, and this is aromatic. Now, what about this one? Well, this is aromatic, all right? We have two, four, six pi electrons, all right? We have two, four, six pi electrons. Um, they're all sp2, we're conjugated, um, uh, so, so this is, uh, six pi electrons. This is aromatic. So the big point to take away from this video, whenever you have stability in the benzene ring in terms of aromatic pi electrons, the outer electrons, uh, usually they're, they're counted towards hybridization. Okay. Okay. So, so that's a very important point to take away from this video.